Yamaha continues onward in the dual sport category with its little DS that cut, the tuning fork company's TW200. A straight-up rollover from last year, the TW200 continues the family tradition as a bona fide go-anywhere bike with its fat, dual-purpose knobbies and street-legal lighting package. The low seat height makes it friendly for shorter and younger, riders with plenty of leverage once you deploy your training wheels at stops and in the parking lot. This bike first saw the light of day back in 1987 and would see a revision in 2001 that replaced the Kickstarter with a push-button starter and updated the front brake. Power for the TW200 comes from an air-cooled single-cylinder plant that has a 67mm bore and 55.7mm stroke for a total displacement of 196cc and mild, 9.5 to 1 compression ratio. With that kind of compression, you won't have to bother with high-octane fuel and it should help extend service life because the top end isn't constantly beating the tar out of the bearings in the bottom end. A single overhead cam times the two-valve head and induction control falls to the 28mm Makuni soup can. It's not easy to find a bike that still has a carburetor so fuel injection heater rejoice. The Yamaha TW200 produces 16 horsepower and 11 pound-feet of torque that power flows through a wet clutch and 5-speed transmission with a chain-type final drive that turns out a TW200 top speed range of 66 miles per hour to 73 miles per hour. Surely depending on maintenance, road conditions and how much you had for lunch. The layout of the TW200 has the essentials and little else for a rather spartan overall look. The front fender has a compound shape for rigidity and comes bracketed by bellowed fork gaiters. The gaiters protect the inner fork tube and its associated seal from damage due to rock impacts and grit. I'd say that's pretty important given the stated use of the thing. A rectangular headlight and flyscreen complete the front end, and the front blinkers mounted nice and high are probably safe from harm when you dump the bike. Behind the flyscreen is an old-fashioned instrumentation setup. It includes an analog speedometer, trip meter and trio of indicator lamps to make the instrumentation as essential as the rest of the build. The cockpit features a 1.8-gallon fuel tank that has very little rise to it. This means the bench seat can extend forward to accommodate some pretty dramatic weight shifts for technical off-road work. It also comes with flip-up foot pegs, so you can share the fun with a friend, taillight and turn signals right up high with a short mudguard tag holder to finish the job. The frame on the TW200 is a tubular steel construct with a single downtube build that uses the engine to complete the structure. It carries a vented bash plate to protect the bottom end from brush and terrain strikes. Rake and trail measure at 25.8 degrees and 3.4 inches respectively to make the TW200 quite nimble indeed. Ground clearance is decent at 10.4 inches high which naturally improves its terrain tackling abilities. The seat rides 31.1 inches off the deck which is a little on the tall side, but necessary to accommodate the ground clearance and suspension strokes. Up front the 33mm forks have a 6.3 inch stroke while the rear shock has 5.9 inches of travel to collectively tolerate some pretty rough areas. The brakes are a mixed bag with a modern, 220mm disc and twin pot anchors up front, while out back, an old-fashioned, 110mm drum-style brake takes care of business. Laced wheels play into the TW200's off-road chops and come shod with a 130 80ths and 180 80ths on the front and rear respectively. Getting the single fired is as simple as twisting the old-fashioned but signature Yamaha motor mechanical key. Flip the ignition switch and let's go for a ride. This engine features a counterbalancer but it certainly doesn't quell all of the engine's vibes, especially at high running speed. A 5-speed manual transmission with a cable-actuated clutch puts back the power to a 14-inch rear wheel via chain final drive on the left-hand side of the vehicle. 
It drinks from a 1.8 gallon fuel tank, but there is no fuel gauge, nor low fuel level light. There is a petcock valve which allows you to alternate from on off for transport and reserve fueling. This is a remnant feature of the mechanical carburetor. We've averaged around 60 mpg during the course of our stop and go ride through the city. If you're a cruiser and can keep the speeds lower, Yamaha says you can get upwards of 70 mpg.